Passion Fruit Vodka is like one of the latest buzz flavoured vodkas that's flying around at the moment. JJ's obviously released theirs now quite a few months ago uh, by the time this rolls. Uh, we've got Absolute out there. So I'm all about giving you inspiration, different ideas that you can kind of drinks, cocktails, simple serves that you can knock up with uh, different brands and pad this today. As it's Friday, it's vodka day. I've gone for Passion Fruit Vodka. Uh, this cocktail is absolutely del delicious. I call them easy because there's no kind of crazy mixology going around. Yes, there are some funny kind of obscure ingredients, but as I say, I'm all about inspiration. I do give you kind of flips and riffs and twists that you can kind of use if you haven't got my ingredients. Uh, this cocktail, I haven't actually used any sugar, any sweetener in here. I've just kind of let the fruit juices, the soda, uh, and the actual flavors. There's, we've got coconut going on, we've got a bit of pineapple going on, we've got, obviously got the passion fruit, but we've got, we've, got some, we've, got, we've got some turtle juice coming out to play as well. We've got some turtle juice. As always, I open up the names, uh, suggestions to my membership community because the recipes will be going in my books coming out really soon. Uh, again, we've just got four of them got involved in this one. So Andy's gone for Tropic Passion, like that. Uh, Ross, Ross is gonna sex you up. That's what he's gonna do. It's called Gunner, sorry, Gunner, as in turtle juice. Gunner, Gunner sex you up. Good old boy, Ross. Uh, who else we got? Darren has gone for The Passionator. Uh, but the one I've chosen is Ash. Ash has got this one. He's put Gunner, I've got to say it properly, Gunner Nuts About Passion as in going nuts about passion. But I like that, it was kind of a little riff on Gunner, wasn't it? Right, ingredients for this. Uh, obviously the video is about uh, JJ's passion fruit vodka, so we've got that out. If you want to use something else, uh, flavored vodka, and maybe, or a plain vodka even, and maybe some Pessoa, you get kind of the same finish. Uh, or you could go absolute passion fruit or just something like that. But I think this works well as a passion fruit flavor. Uh, I've gone for Kalani. You would have got this in yesterday's video as well. Uh, think Malibu. Uh, but think Malibu on steroids. I do love Malibu. I'm not a hate Malibu hater at all. I do love it, but this is a stronger ABV. It's not a rum, it's still a liqueur, 30% ABV, but you could just dip a straw into that and just drink it. It is gorgeous, much better than Malibu uh, if you want coconut vibrancy. Uh, as I say in the last few videos that I've done, uh, I've been getting loads of questions about bitters recently, so I'm just showcasing different bitters, bitters to us bartenders, like salt and pepper to chefs. They add seasoning, they add flavor without adding too much volume to cocktails and ba unbalancing. So I've gone for some toasted almond bitters. You don't have to use them. You could even substitute for a little tiny hint of amaretto if you wanted to or something like that, but uh, they just kind of give that bitter sort of vibrancy off there. Uh, we've gone back to our turtle juice, Gunner's turtle juice. Uh, it's kind of their tropical lemonade. I think they call it tropical lemonade. Yeah, tropical lemonade. We've got coconut notes, we've got mango notes, we've got lime in there. They are sodas, they are not sweet sodas, but they, at the same token, they're not really dry, sort of a normal soda water in that sort of sense, or a bit of soda water. So they've got a bit of sweetness to them, but not too much. Um, uh, so I love that. Uh, I've got some pressed pineapple juice, 100% pressed pineapple juice, just Tesco's own. Uh, and I've got some uh, lime juice. Right, time to get a shake on. So we're going for a cocktail shaker, obviously. Uh, my passion fruit vodka is ingredient number one. And I'm going for 60 ml, double bubble of passion fruit vodka. Look at that. Right, ingredient number two is my Kalani. As I said in the last video, it is Mexican. It's a Mexican uh, coffee liqueur, it's delicious. 15 ml, half an ounce of that. Next up, I'm going for my pineapple juice, pressed pineapple juice, and I'm going for 30 ml, one ounce of that. Then I'm going for some lime juice, and we're just going for 15 ml, half an ounce of lime juice. Then obviously the turtle juice is coming after the shake because there's a little bit of fizziness in it. So right now I'm just going for my, um, my almond bitters. I just want a bit of almond notes to this. Uh, I've kind of gone for two, da two dashes. So we just need to ice up and give it a good old shake down. Plenty of oomph. None of this, none of this. Never want to see that hard and fast shake up here, out of breath, 10 to 12 seconds. Get your sweat on. Right, uh, so that's that. Uh, now I'm going for my turtle juice. There we go, let's make sure that's the right way around for the old close up. Uh, and I'm going for 60 ml, two ounces, or a double bubble of turtle juice. We want plenty of turtles coming out to play. There we go. 
we are going for, I'm going for a pina colada glass. So I'm just gonna single strain this into a pina colada glass. Here we go. Lovely jubbly. Uh, I've got some crushed ice here. So I've got, I'm gonna fill it up with crushed ice. Customary to spill a bit on the bar. We try not to, but we always do. <laughs> so fill it up with crushed ice. And then garnish wise, I'm gonna get these out again. I love these, flipping love these. Get these from drink stuff in the UK now. Uh, they all oh, smell the aroma. Got some dehydrated pineapples there. You could cut them in half if you wanted to, but I think they're nice and bendy. I'm just gonna pop that in there. And then what else goes really well with them? I've got some pineapple leaves. Pineapple, what do you call them? Pineapple fronds over and over across the pond. Uh, and then I'm going for a cherry because cherry and pineapple looks awesome. Right, popping up on screen will be even more kind of vodka inspiration for you. Dive into one of those. As always, big old thumbs up, please, if you like the recipe. And if you haven't done so already, subscribe to the channel.